Okay guys, so we're at the top. This is video part two, Millionaire Miser. We're at the top of page 329. That is no problem, said Nerima. We are wealthy enough. Why? I will make sweet dumplings for the whole town. Seal shall gasp in horror. You will make a pauper of me. Well then, said Nerima, I will make dumplings for our family and servants. Why would the servants need any, said Shil Shil. Then I will make them for us and the children. I am sure the children can do without. Then I will make one for you and one for me. Why would you want one, said Shil Shil. Nerima sighed and went out and returned after a while with a sweet, a single sweet dumpling. Then she looked at Shil Shil moaning with delight, Deva devoured every crumb. Now it happened that all this was seen by Saka, the king of heaven, who was sitting on the marble throne in the thousand-mile high place. Not in seventy-seven millennia, he declared, have I ever seen such a miser. I will teach this fellow not to be so stingy. So the god waited till the next day, when Silsha left on his morning walk. Then he made himself look just like Sushil and came down to earth. Saka walked in, into Silsha's house as if he were Silsha himself. In Silsha's own voice, he told a servant, Run through the town and invite everyone you see. Today, Silsha will share his wealth. When Narma heard the, these words, she cried, Husband, can this be true? Heaven be praised for your change of heart. Then she helped him open the treasure house. Soon the people of the town arrived. Take what you will, said the, said the pretend Silshu, and if anyone who looks like me tries to stop you, drive him to the scoundrel. Thanks to the thank. Thanks to Lord Sushil, cried the townspeople, the most generous man alive. They rushed into the treasure house and loaded themselves with gold, silver, diamonds, and pearls. Just then, the real Sushil came home. When he saw treasure being carried out of his gates, he screamed, Robbers! Thieves! Put that back in! How dare you! But the townspeople said, this must be the one the Lord Sushil warned us about. And they crushed Sushil halfway across town. They chased him halfway across town. Silsha rushed on to Raha's court. Your majesty, he declared, the people of the town are taking all I own. But your own servant invited them, said Raha. I heard him. Myself, did you give the order? Never, said Silsha. If the order was given, I beg you to bring the one who gave it. <laughs>